Hey guys, what is going on? Just here at uh, the school, in my classroom, getting things all set up for the start of the new year, uh, two weeks from now. So that'll be that'll be a fun time. I'm I'm really looking forward to the start of the new year. But uh, just hanging out, and then as I was doing that, I decided, as I was doing that part of getting everything all situated is getting my new Funko Pops out and set up around the classroom. I mean, you can see up there, I've got Transformers and ACDC, Ace of Spades over there. So, so I figured I would show you what I recently got. And there, I mean, it's freaking awesome. So this is what I have recently acquired. It is Next Strike Captain America, Zombie Hulk, and Leslie, nope, from Parks and Rec. It's Leslie the Riveter getting stuff taken care of. So the the uh, bigger two were, were given to me as gifts from my parents for just kind of helping out, getting Abby, my, my little sister, into her apartment. And then Leslie the Riveter here, I got her at GameStop. I went and sold my Xbox and stuff, my, yeah, my Xbox and stuff, because I just didn't use it, and I saw her, and you never see Parks and Rec pops. I mean, to me, they, they are, Parks and Rec is so much better than The Office, I know, I, I said it, but, I mean, they're just such great characters, and you, you never see the pops. And so I figured I would use my little discount and get her. So that's what I did. So I'm going to put uh, Leslie Nope up here. You can see Kevin right there. I believe it's the chili cook-off Kevin. So, or chili pot Kevin. And so I've got the Parks and Rec. My only other one being Burt Macklin, FBI. So Chris Pratt. So put him, put uh, Leslie over there, and I over, over on that side of the room, I have all my Marvel Funkos that aren't the Venomized ones. I'm going to put Mech Strike Captain America up there. I'm not going to put the Hulk out yet, but that's just because he's a zombie, and so that's Halloween stuff. So I'm going to put him with the rest of my Halloween gear and get to see him in October. So... Yeah, like I said, nothing really going on today. This may be the only part of the video of today's vlog, just because I mean I'm gonna get some more stuff, get some stuff done here at the school, and I've got to go do some do some grocery shopping. Then I've got to go home and do dishes. So I may do a frozen dinner tonight. Probably not gonna want to make something, but yeah, this is really probably the entirety of the video. But I will keep you all updated. I'll at least do a video portion of when I get all the my get Mech Strike Captain America put up and go and we'll go from there. I'll I'll take you around the classroom and I'll show you the rest of my stuff. So Alright guys. So we are gonna go ahead and take a look around the room around my classroom and then kinda of show you really how nerdy I am with all my Funkos and everything from earlier. So we're going to start over here at my desk and we will just kind of go around the classroom. All right. So first off over here, we've got Russell Wilson because I am a Seahawks fan. So you got to have Russell Wilson. And then over here, Captain America from the first Avenger or from the Captain America movie, the first Avenger. I am a Captain America is literally the greatest superhero of all time. Plain and, plain and simple. So, underneath him, of course, Stan Lee. I mean, he's this is the only version of Stan Lee that I have. And so, it just happens to be the one from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. When he's talking to the Watchers. And then, over here, we've got... Gabriel Iglesias, and of course, these ones are signed. Got them from the Fluffy Shop. I sadly did not get the 
uh, Day of the Dead, signed Fluffy Funko. But, you know, it's all good. Hopefully I'll find it somehow, signed or not. Either way. And then here, I have Pickett from Harry Potter, or really from uh, Fantastic Beasts. Normally, I would have kept him over with the other Harry Potter ones, but he's just too dang cute. So I'm going to keep him over here by me. Progressing this way, I love Pokemon. Pokemon's really cool. So I have two of the three first-gen starters, Bulbasaur and Squirtle. And, I mean, I could easily get the other, I could get Charmander, and really the rest of the Pokemon, but I found the flocked version of Bulbasaur first, so of course I want to keep them all the same. So I'm having one heck of a time trying to find flocked versions of any of the other ones. So, and of course, I Star Wars, Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Trek, and Living in Kansas... Wizard of Oz Legos. So, gotta have those. Statue of Liberty, pretty awesome. Alright, so... Pardon the mess on the desk. Still getting things situ situated. Over here on my desk, this is what I got. Yes, I have the Golden Girls. They're hilarious. I don't care what people say. So, just the ones on my desk, kind of the ones that really don't have another collection to go sit to go with, just kind of sit here and hang out on my desk. Now, probably, honestly, my biggest collection are my Avengers Pops, or really just, or, or Marvel, not really Avengers entirely, but are the Marvel ones, so... And of course, the Captain America up top in the time suit, the quantum suit. Uh, I found him first, and he was glow in the dark. So again, I'm having a heck of a time finding the rest of them. Because, you know, I've, I've got the Hulk and Tony, but, you know, they got to all be glow in the dark. I have to be difficult. And then this one's really cool. It's the street art Captain America. Oh, that makes me think. More over here. Kids, I love the, the kids love drawing me stuff. Street art Stan Lee. Hanging out right there at the very top. Got these little shelf things at, online on Amazon. They're pretty cool. And then I have all of the, the Hulks. The color, the, the uh, Infinity Stone colors. But, as the school where I'm at is green and yellow, I have these ones on prominent display. And then we are the pirates, and so I found a pirate Deadpool. And so he's not over with the rest of the Deadpools, but he had to go, he had to be here again on prominent display. Alright, hurrying over here. Next part, Star Wars. So... All my Star Wars pops over here. And these are just Star Wars throughout the years. That kind of thing. Now, down over here, <laughs> all my freaking baby Yodas from the Mandalorian. This is the Mandalorian section of the, the collection. So... These were all the ones that came out already that I've just been able to get my hands on. I've seen at GameStop or Walmart. And, of course, the giant ones. My kids had fun with it last year. They put a mask on the giant baby Yoda. So they were like, you know, if we have to wear a mask, a mask he has to wear a mask. So over here, I've got Sully. Hanging out by the Scream Canister. My kids did Monsters, Inc. as the theme for my door during Homecoming Week. And so I figured better get one of the monsters. So we got Sully. 
easiest to find and the least expensive because the other ones are like three hundred dollars all right lord of the rings over here sam is one of the glow in the darks the star in his hand glows so that's pretty cool uh down here my venomized part of my venomized collection down here up top is Thor and Doctor Strange. <laughs> I I love Bro Thor. I think he's hilarious. So, and then oh, I was hanging stuff earlier. All right, next is the Deadpool part of my collection. <laughs> Honestly, to me, I think the grilling one's the best. Simply because you turn him around, and he has literally caught fire on the back. So, I think that's funny. Oh, there he is. And then Dino Pool. Dino Pool is good. Next, coming to the Harry, po Harry Potter part of the collection. Yes, Fox is flocked. So that's pretty cool. With my serious black wand. And then the Chase Newt Scamander. And the Jumbo Dumbledore and Voldemort. That's gonna be really cool if they had been if they did a jumbo Dumbledore with the flocked fox. I think it'd be really cool. So and admittedly this one this part of the collection started because I really didn't have any female characters. And I really didn't have any Harry Potter characters at the time. And one of my students said, you know what? You need to get Hermione Granger. So she was probably the first female character I got. And honestly, oh, second Harry Potter. I got the, the uh, picket first, but all right. Don't worry, we're almost done. Seasonal ones here. I'll do a seasonal part of the video later all right trying to finagle discs over here we've got the office all going this way and parks and rec right here part or the office is a lot easier to find than parks and rec but you know and of course i got prison mike and he is, in fact, being haunted by a Dementor. My students said I need to put that with the Harry Potter stuff. Which, I mean, I get it. But at the same time, I bought the Dementor not to go with the Harry Potter stuff. But to actually go with Prison Mike. Alright, the last parts of the collection. We're done. Almost done. Transformers. All right in here. Uh, Grimlock, out of, out of all the ones I have here, Grimlock is definitely my favorite. I mean, giant robot dinosaurs. That's just freaking cool. And then the two albums that I have. ACDC Back in Black and Motorhead Ace of Spades. So, alright guys, that really, that concludes everything that I've got here at school. The only other... Funko that I don't have at school is my signed, uh, who is it, uh, Mary Took from Lord of the Rings, and uh, I had him here in, in at school, and the Funko, he has a beer in his hand, so my principal walked in, saw it, and was like, you know, he's got a beer in his hand. So probably not a good idea to have him here at school. And I thought about it and I was like, yep, he's right. So he's hanging out at home. So this this is probably going to be the end of the video. Like I said early, <laughs> earlier, I th thought that was going to be the end of the video. But I figured I'd show you all the, the Funkos I have here in the classroom. So this is basically my excitement for the day. Just getting the classroom reorganized. 
probably going to do more of it tomorrow. So, all right, I'll talk to y'all in, in a little bit. Hey guys, so <laughs> this is basically the exact same position I was in yet uh, yesterday. Just hanging out on the couch, uh, not doing anything really at all, just watching a little Inuyasha. And I'll honestly I actually discovered the series just the other day. Anime was really not my thing growing up, and so all the people who were into it, like, oh, Inuyasha is so cool, it's so awesome. I watched it, or I saw the pictures, and I was like, a dude with cat ears. Wow, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> but now I'm like, one, they're dog ears, and two, it's actually really, really good. So, yeah, just hanging out, watching that. And, I mean, it's 8, like, a, well, it's 8.30. Sun's still out, and I'm going to go ahead and call it a night because nothing is going on. Just hanging out, drinking some beer, eating some ice cream, all the good stuff of adulting. So, all right, guys, I'll catch you all tomorrow, maybe. Who knows? All right, peace out, Girl Scouts. I'll talk to you all later.